DJ Winza, and I'm just looking to see if I closed my door. I am about to have a rant, and this is actually somewhat inspired by uh, fellow YouTubers Beer with Ted, which uh, I'll have a link to that specific video in my uh, doobly-doo, uh, Ted Barris. Um, he, he actually, you know, messaged me on, on, on my, uh, um, network's website, and I had actually been following him for a while, so it kind of blew me away, but that's irrelevant. Um, this was inspired because it, it reminded me of my job search, as weird as it'll sound if you actually saw this video. Which, odds are, if you see me, you've probably seen one of his videos, and we kind of look similar, only I'm younger and prettier. Um, he's going to hate the fact that I just said that. But anyway, I have been searching for a job now for about two months, and it's been ridiculously bad. Every place that I've gone, and I understand, I've either walked into, called, or filled out an online application for at least 200 places in this town. I can't go to any other town to find a job because I don't have a vehicle. And, of course, there, if it's someone that I know, they're going to probably comment down there, oh, but you should look online to check and make sure that you can catch this bus to this bus to this bus to this bus, which is a process that takes more time out of the day than I would actually have spent working had I taken a job outside of this city. And I'd rather not spend more time in transit than I am clocked in at work. It's kind of counterproductive especially considering it's more than I'd be able to afford, least of all for the first bloody week I was working. Anyhow, it's gotten this way because of the economy. Because all the people that have money don't realize that while it's sitting in their bank account, it's not doing anything for the economy. All it's doing is collecting dust. But that's it. So they're basically hoarding this planet's wealth in about 85 people's bank accounts. And by the way, that figure is actually the 85 wealthiest people on the planet have more money than 3.5 billion other people combined. Think about that for a second. And all that money, it's just sitting in a bank account as I said earlier. If they actually spent it on something or paid their employees more so that they could go and actually spend money keeping the economy going, you know, like all these, uh, all the desire for a raise in minimum wage. Right now, there's a state or area at least, um, Oh God, I can't remember. I am so terrible at at geography. Go go gadget. Eh eh. Stir. North Dakota. North Dakota has, of all things, a Walmart that pays two point five times what minimum wage is because right now they have a 0.9% unemployment rate think about that for a second so much high pay even at one of the worst paying companies in the world they're still paying more more than twice what I was making at my last job here 
in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. You see, originally I couldn't understand why the hell rent was so cheap around here. But now I've finally found out. It's because there's not a goddamn person in this whole fucking state that can actually afford the same kind of prices that I was paying back in fucking Alexandria, Virginia. And boy, boy oh boy, do I miss Alexandria, Virginia. Mainly because of the bus system. Because I could get anywhere outside of the town I lived in with just a hop, skip, and a jump with the bus. And it was easy. Because it was all through Google Maps or their own very robust website. Which you just plug in your address of where you are and the address of where you're going. And bam, you will have every bus that will be on that kind of route for the next day. Here, you have to go to their website and look at a a screenshot or screen cap of one of their bus schedules and that's it they don't have any sort of interaction it's like the des the website was designed by a five-year-old anyway one of the worst parts right now about being unemployed is everyone who has a fucking job thinks because I'm literally not outside of the house going all over town on foot or taking the bus to places that I don't know how to fucking get to because I've only been here since September they think because I'm not outside the house doing that every day that I'm not looking that you know it, it doesn't matter if I spent the last four and a half hours filling out a fucking 12,000 fucking questionnaire for a personality test for some random fucking job that's an entry fucking level position doesn't matter if I did that for the last four hours no they think because I didn't fucking step out of the house and walk around the streets for fucking 20 hours in a row asking every fucking door that I walk into are you hiring Oh no, we're just accepting applications. You can fill one out if you'd like. Yes, but if I fill out an application, does that mean there's a chance I'll at least get called back? Oh, we hang on to them for six months. Great. Because, you know, I need a job now, like actually the last two months now. And I, I, I'm sure I've got plenty of six months worth of time until I'm on the streets to wait for you to look at my fucking application. So, yeah. And, and, and people think you go walking outside for 20 minutes, all of a sudden a job will come flying out of the sky like a goddamn meteor right into your fucking lap. Why are they so fucking dense? I don't fucking know. But they don't have to look for a job, so of course they're going to think, oh, it's easy. Sure, my friend who I've known for years got, helped me get this job, but you should have no problem. None at all. It doesn't help that just before I became unemployed that one of the bigger companies in this area, uh, a furniture manufacturer, went out of business. They closed up their last plant in the area, killing about 1,000, 2,000 jobs, if not more, about a month, maybe a month and a half before I lost my job. Didn't help that that happened and that there was a major fucking inflow of in unemployed people who had plenty more experience doing a thing than me or were willing to work for, you know, bare minimum wage for less than 10 hours a week. Which, by the way, that last fucking week I was, I was technically employed, they only gave me four fucking hours for the whole week. I pay 
I was paying sixty dollars a week in rent. Yeah, that makes that that totally makes up for my rent. Yeah, four hours, not even making ten dollars an hour. So, needless to say, because I haven't been able to pay my rent, I'm going to be losing my home soon. And there's nothing I can do about it, and I'm not going to begrudge the people I live with because this was something I agreed to when I first moved in here. If I was unable to pay the rent, I would show them no problems whatsoever. So, I'm stuck. I'm fucked. The economy has basically just murdered me. And if you're wondering why I keep looking down, my list is right be right physically beneath my camera of all my bullet points that I was planning on ranting about. So... I'm going to try to bulk record some more shit so that those few of my viewers that are loyal and do like watching my videos and do like watching me do things will still have stuff to watch while I try my hardest to either find a job well actually even if I find a job now it's less than two weeks until the end of the month so I won't even be able to make up for the money that I wasn't able to make up for in the last two months so it's too late. I'm not sure where I'm going to end up. There are a couple of places that look promising. Oh, and uh, that furniture plant that, that I mentioned earlier, it was a person, it was actually a single mother who told me about this, who works one day a week because that's all she can afford to do because she can't afford child care. because they don't pay her enough for it in addition to the wear and tear on her truck for the job that she does which I'm not going to go into detail on that the gas to do the job that she does she goes through about half a tank in one day doing her job which all of that should be paid for by the business but because of the way bi some businesses run around here, she is considered a contractor, so any of her expenses are her own business, so they don't have to pay for shit. By the way, that's the paper business I'm talking about. Enjoy your newspaper, by the way. What is it, Sun Sentinel? Winston, what fucking have you? I don't know what the fucking paper is around here. I haven't read a goddamn paper since I lived in South Florida. Ergo, why I mentioned the Sun Sentinel, which is... There's a very dark reason why I mentioned that. And that is Father's Day. Yeah. Father's Day. You'd expect me to have something happy to say about that, but... Unfortunately, all the joy of Father's Day was ripped from me in 2009 when I got to find out through my father's best friend that my father passed away and that his widow his second slash fourth wife decided not to tell a single one of his fucking blood relatives that he even died Now, I'm not going to release her name, mainly because I'm not sure what the fuck her last name is right now. But seriously, this woman needs to get the shit beaten out of her, because not only did she not tell his own blood, rel bl blah, blood relatives that he died at all, but she basically stole money from each and every one of his children that had any stocks. Since when she was with him, 
we were all adults and we figured we'd just leave the stocks, you know, accumulating and shit. We figured he was a good person to leave them with. Then she found them. Forged his signature. Since his name was on them. And none of us knew until it was too fucking late that tens of thousands of dollars were funneled into this woman's account. And because she has a shyster lawyer, it's going to be in fucking... in the fucking courts ad infinitum because he will keep it in the fucking court until it costs us more than we would have actually gotten had we cashed the stocks ourselves. So, yeah. And, uh, so, I don't believe in hell. I don't. I'm an atheist. And I normally don't wish harm but considering what this old, decrepit sack of shit did to my family, one of the reasons I haven't returned to Florida is I am afraid of what I would do to this woman if I ever ran into her on the street. And this is the state I grew up in. the state where my childhood occurred, the state where my brother and sister still live, my only living relatives, my brother and sister. And, well, I know I'm probably only going to get 10, 15 l views, and I, 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 I've given up on expecting any likes. You see, I've noticed something about the the network I'm with. For some reason, I end up getting a lot more likes than I get views. So I'll end up getting maybe 10, 15 more likes on this video than I will get any views ever. Unless y'all want to do something about it. If you want to share my rant about the economy and the opening up a little bit about something that pissed me off and hurt me and my family so much that there are thing that right now my family and I don't talk as much as we should because we can't. Go ahead, share. Tell your friends about it. If you if you have something to say, tell me down there. I want to hear your voice. Now I know that it, this is usually a happy, jovial gaming channel, but I just had to get this off my chest, and I I didn't script it. Like, seriously, uh, l let me show you. Here, you see that? Yeah, you see that? That is my list. So if you were curious as to what the fuck I was going off of, that was the list that I was talking about of bullet points. I just used a fucking notepad and typed that shit out before I started recording. Anyway, I will see you guys later. If you really do like the video, hit like you want to see my normal shit, hit subscribe. If you want to hear me complain more about shit that bothers me, whether it be about the economy, religion, lack of religion, what fucking have you, let me know. Plenty of space down there for you to tell me. See y'all later.